She's a nice filly, and uh, you know, I keep saying she's probably gonna fly under the radar given what Aunt Pearl's accomplished to this point. Um, they're obviously running in the same race, but Emro's, uh, you know, a very nice filly that's, uh, you know, won her two races in a really, really nice fashion and receiving really good figures out of both races. And it'll be first time around two turns for her. Um, so uh, I don't think that'll be an issue. She's a nice filly that listens to, you know, what the rider asks of her. So I think she'll settle in fine going around two turns. Um, but uh, she brings fantastic this morning. I think I had her, um, I think I had her in a minute, I had her a minute and two and um, really, really galloped out well. So, I mean, it was, it was, she did it well in hand. Um, and very I thought she had a beautiful work, uh, very efficient work. Time was good and she got over the ground really good and she's doing very well. First time she ran, I wasn't particularly supposed to be on the lead. She broke really fast and uh, she ended up on the lead. She went, uh, got to the quarter pole, I shook her up and uh, once I got after her, man, she accelerated beautifully. It showed a lot of potential. And uh, very excited. I thought the race down in Kentucky Downs was even a better race for her. Uh, Brad and I had talked about it. It was a, a lot of speed in the race. She's a very smart filly, so we decided to take a hold of her and get her to come running and finish up. And uh, she left there. She wanted to do her thing. I got a very smart filly, like I said, and uh, was able to talk her out of it and calm her down. And she ended up coming from off the pace, hit the lead a little bit too soon, started to wait around on horses, and uh, have, you haven't seen the best of her and she's been progressing really, really well. Uh, this morning, just goes to show you time-wise and physically, she is progressing really well. Did she surprise you at all when she won first time out? Uh, not particularly. She had shown uh, potential in the mornings before she's ever run uh, and I wasn't surprised at all. Going into the Breeders' Cup with a horse that's two for two, but will be probably overshadowed a bit by some horses like Plum Alley and and, and on Pearl it was just one and yeah she is flying but she is not lacking ability and the way she's doing I think she has a as good of a shot as those horses a little green in her last race Did absolutely she hit the lead and uh, thought her job was over and we still had a 16 of a mile to go and just didn't quite you know but that's a good sign because obviously there's room for improvement and we haven't seen the best of it.